Hi everyone, I am Ms. Macedo. Welcome to our lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about climax and plot elements. You will be able to understand plot, sequence of events, plot elements, and climax. Are you ready? Let's get started. We'll first take a look at plot. Plot. All stories have a plot. The plot is just a name for a sequence of events. Every plot should have an exposition, rising and falling action, climax, and resolution. What is plot? Plot is the sequence of events that take place in a story. What is sequence of events? The time order of things that happen in the story. Let's look at plot elements and let's look at the plot elements diagram. This is a plot elements diagram. Exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. These are all elements of a plot. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on climax, the one at the top. Now, I will briefly go over all the elements of a plot, but as I said before, in this lesson, we will focus on climax. Introduction or exposition is information that the writer gives you at the start at the story. Rising action, event in the rising action that draws you, you in as the reader. Climax, the most exciting or suspenseful part of the story. Falling action, the continuing action after the conflict has been resolved. Resolution, the conclusion. How does this part of the story make you feel? Let's look at climax. Climax, the climax is the most exciting or surprising part of the story and is sometimes known as the turning point. So let's look at this diagram and you can see here at the top, you have the climax as the arrow, arrow is pointing to the climax in bold here at the top. The climax. Climax is the high point. This is the turning point of the story. Usually the main character comes face to face with the conflict. The main character will change in some way. Climax is considered the most exciting point of the story. It is usually the moment of greatest danger or effective decision making for the protagonist, which is the main character of the story. At the climax, the author will surprise the reader, force the main character to face and deal with the problem or challenge in the story, create a change in the direction of the story. Questions to build understanding about climax. How has the problem intensified? How has the main character come face to face with the problem? How has the author been building suspense in the story to lead to the climax? Now, let's look at the example of climax. First, we'll look at the example in Harry Potter. For example, in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the climax is when Harry comes face to face with Voldemort 
and must keep him from obtaining the stone. Let's look at one more example of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry went face to face off whoever was getting the stone. The three children had expected it to be Professor Snape, but in the end it was Professor Coral. After unwrapping this turban, there on the other half of Professor Coral's head, Lord Voldemort. Harry had gotten the stone through the mirror and he fought with Professor Coral and Lord Voldemort. So this is the climax of the story. Now, let's look at the climax of the Hunger Games. Okay, climax. Example, the Hunger Games. There are three tributes left, Katniss, Peter, and Catus from District 1. Mock dogs come, but can't kill Catus. Katniss sends a bow through Catus' head and he dies. Katniss and Pita think they have won, but the capital announces that only one person can live. Katniss gets some poisonous berries so that they don't have to kill each other. So basically they were trying to kill themselves. The capital says the rule is back on. They spit out the berries and the capital announced that Katniss and Pita are the winners. This is the climax of the Hunger Games, the most exciting part of the Hunger Games, when Katniss kills Catus. Now, let's look at one more example of climax in a story before you do an activity. Climax. This is the high point of the action or the crisis point. So let's look here. The evidence. The, I'll read it again. The evidence I needed is, bar is buried in a chest at this beach. I have found it. So this is a very interesting and exciting point of this story where this person in the story found the evidence that he needed. Now, let's see if you learned. The climax is, and I will read choices A and B, and you will pick the correct answer. Climax is A, the information that the writer gives you at the beginning of the story, or B, the most exciting or surprising part of the story, the turning point of the story. I want you to pause this video now and read it again, choices A and B, and pick the correct answer, okay? And now we are going to do the last activity of this lesson. Which one represents the climax? So we are going to look at both pictures and I have a description for each picture and you are going to either point to the correct answer or you are going to show it to someone next to you or you can write it down. A, which one represents the climax? A, at the beginning of the story, Harry lives with his uncle and aunt. So it's image A, here or is the climax when Harry gets the stone and fights Voldemort? Which one? So we know that the climax is the most exciting point of the story. Which one here, choices A or B, is the most exciting part of the story? Which one is the climax? Okay, so pause this video and choose the correct answer. Today, we learned about climax and climax is the most exciting part of the story. Climax is also the, known as the turning point of the story. Thanks for watching this video.